get it. Period. Good morning. Welcome to a weekend vlog. Might just be on Saturday. Today is Saturday, July the 30th. I got hair all over the place because I just washed my hair. And tomorrow we don't have any plans I don't think of, but that could change. And if we do, I'll take you along tomorrow. But I know what the agenda is today and I wanted to do something different and take you guys along. So first off, we just got in the shower. It is late, <laughs> it's 9.38, that is late for us. But what I've been doing on the weekends is just like sleeping in and the boys have too. And it's been so nice, especially with these 3 a.m. leg workouts. Those will officially end starting on August 11th. The kids go back to school, happy dance. And then I won't have to get up as early, but oh my gosh, it has been a struggle. But sleeping in, a must. You need rest and recovery, guys. If you're not resting and recovering, you are not working your muscles properly. You're not gonna see the results that you want. You're not gonna see the performance in the gym. So make sure that you are sleeping. Don't be like me, like, oh my gosh, it's so late. Like if you have nothing to do in the morning, take a little bit of extra time and sleep, especially if your kids are sleepers. Thank you, Jesus, my kids are. Wash our hair with our Olaplex and I've got next level problems, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, from the beach trip, I did not put on my big sun hat, if you saw all the pictures on Instagram. I put that on halfway from us being on the beach and thank you Lord I did because if not, I would look like a lobster. I mean, I got, I've got i been peeling like a snake all over my body the past week, but my scalp is peeling. Oh my gosh, it's so gross. I hate a peeling scalp. It's like the worst thing ever. Oh my gosh, it looks like you have dandruff city. I just washed my hair and it is looking some kind of ratchet, but thank you Jesus, we put the hat on. But I had mentioned in the live that I wanted to show, go check out that live video. We talked about all kinds of fun stuff that I wanted to take you along with a daily weekend video and show you my morning and evening skin routine because a lot of you guys asked in the vacation vlog if you did not watch that one. So usually what I would do is sometimes I use the cleansing oil by Beauty Counter. Beauty Counter is the products I'm going to be talking about but I did not today because I did a full like nightly routine last night. So in the shower, I just used the hot water and I just rinsed off. I do have some redness as you guys can visibly see it right here. And that is from the shark ending. Every time the shark comes, I like have a little bit of redness right here. But what I reason why I used Beauty Counter about two months ago is because I was seeing redness from here, like all the way to here, like really, really bad. And I was like, I need to start taking care of my skin. Like I'm always talking about taking care of your body. Why am I not taking care of my skin, especially as I'm aging? I'll be 40 next June. So I bought this whole beauty counter, counter time collection at Christmas time. And it was, these were the minis. So they don't always have the minis, but I bought them because they were on a pretty good deal. And I'd seen my friend Christy always talking about them and her skin looks amazing. And she'd been using it for a long time and testing it out and I trust her. So I went ahead and bought it and I've let this stuff sit for months since Christmas. So two months ago, once I started seeing all this redness pop up and I was like, man, we gotta start doing something. I went ahead and hit the bullet and got these out and started being consistent with using them. That's what you have to do with any skincare routine is you have to be consistent. You can't just be like hit or miss because then you're not gonna see if the products are actually working. So two months in guys, I can now tell you that this stuff works. Y'all know I always like to try something out before I suggest anything to you, taste test things, all that before I even suggest anything to you guys. So for me bringing this stuff to you means that I have been using it myself and I really like it. So the cleansing oil is awesome. I didn't use it this morning, like I said, I just rinsed off my face because I did a whole routine last night. And then now what I will do is I will use a serum of some sort. So I've been using this pink collection, by the way, is the Counter Time Collection. It is for aging skin, so if you are approaching 40 and you're wanting to start taking care of your skin and all the aging stuff that comes with it, the pink collection is probably the best suit for you. So I've been using the Counter Time Mineral Boost Hydrating Essence Serum, this one right here. And look how much, guys, I don't know if you can see, but that's how much I've used in two months. And I still have all this, and this is the mini. So if the minis are available, purchase those because they're much cheaper than the full size because you don't need a lot of product with this, which is really nice too. A little goes a long way. 
and you're saving money too. Like I cannot believe that. But Christy suggested this yellow counter plus, this is the counter plus line, all bright C serum. She said it's been reducing like spots and stuff on her face and I thought I'd give that one a try but I can't tell you my thoughts on it yet. But I think today, since I like this one so much, I am gonna go in with the Mineral Boost Essence Serum. So it's a liquid, you just tap it on and it looks like I'm tapping on a lot guys but you just saw how much product I still have left in there and we've been using this stuff forever. So I take it and I just dampen it pretty much on my skin. This stuff is so clean. There's minimal ingredients, no bad stuff in it. Cruelty free, the company's awesome. I mean, I'll have everything linked down below. You can check it out yourself. It is legit. You'll know I check everything out. But I put everything on my neck and then I take it and I kind of just like pat it in and make sure it's getting like in my pores and not just rubbing it out. And then I will let it dry for a second. Now I'm gonna go in with my daytime moisturizer which is the Countertime Soft Cream. And I'll talk about tonight what I do at nighttime. So we'll save that for later. So you do not need a lot with this either. Like look how little this thing is. It is not even halfway gone, two months, amazing. But one pump guys, one pump is all you need and you are going to be so like glowy, dewy and moisturizing for the day. Don't overuse these products. Don't dump like a big old gallon size in your hand because you're just, first off, you're gonna realize when you put on your face, damn, I've got way too much on there because you're gonna feel like a moisturized ball. You're not gonna need that much. But this one pump has got me set. You'll see how smooth it's gliding on. It's not dry at all. Oh my gosh, love it, love it. And that's it. So what I've been doing for a lot of days is just doing that morning routine and adding some mascara and going on my merry way. When I don't have the shark redness right here, I just look so glow, glowy, glowy, glowy and refreshed and just loving not having to put all the makeup on, especially since I usually work out. I know a lot of you guys are the same way that watch. We work out in the mornings. You have errands and stuff to run afterwards. I come in here and I do use after I work out, especially in the garage, the actual cleansing oil. I'll use that and then do what I just said, put some mascara on and go run my errands. So I feel like I'm a little put together. I looked a little refreshed, a little glowing. My eyes are awake with the mascara, but I don't have a full face of makeup on and especially with it being so hot. I do still use Saint Makeup. I have that over here. I've had a lot of questions, but I only bust that out for like special occasions. I'm doing what I just showed you guys and told you on a daily basis because it's much easier and it just fits with my lifestyle more. Saint Doggy, what are you doing? Why are you in a cage? Is you tired? So exhausting for a little doggy. So we made these pancake sticks using the Kodiak Cakes mix and I added some Lily's chocolate chips for the boys and I have like a French toast stick like maker waffle thing. So we did that earlier in the week and now we are just popping them in the toaster and this is how I do it, like just put them in there. <laughs> just put them in there sideways and pop them in there and toast them. And yes, like that's not even all of it. That's just what we're currently going through. The boys have some over here too. Mm. It's not a problem. It's a good problem to have. So Trey is having the French toast stick, some Thrive Market maple syrup, strawberries, and some vanilla yogurt. And you can hear he's ready. And guys, ever since I put sprinkles in their yogurt for the lunchbox videos, Trey is like, mom, you gotta do that every time. So that's what that's about. And Waylon's not ready to eat yet. So that's why you all see his plate. Hubs is having some of the pancake sticks too three eggs and some syrup and these little cups guys if you're new I will link them down below they're awesome from Amazon comes in a huge pack for like 10 bucks so what is mama having everybody's fed except for Waylon I mean he's not much of a morning eater he eats super late like brunchy style <laughs> I'm doing protein French toast so I have a whole video that I show how to make it so I'll link that down below rather than putting it in this video but I'm gonna try to attempt to make a like caramel apple style 
protein French toast since we got the new caramel apple strudel by American Dream for the back to school collection and it is good and I want to use it this way and I have this apple pie sugar free filling it's been in the pantry forever so I'm going to play around with this but basically all you need guys for protein French toast is you need some low calorie bread and some egg whites seasoning uh, extracts I'm not putting extract today but that's it it's super easy but it's so freaking delicious how this tastes yet but this is what I added to the apple pie filling so I did 100 grams of apple pie filling I chopped it up with a knife and then I added some of my OG apple pie spice by primal palette and just a little bit of Lakanto monk fruit sweetener and stirred it up we shall see and our French toast is coming along to perfection getting our coffee along so I've got my coffee in the fridge I got to bust it out but I've got 177 mils of cashew milk 14 grams of the PE Science Snickerdoodle is my favorite and Burgess gets you a discount with everything PE Science. Blend it up in my Ninja, pour it over my iced coffee, good to go. We are using this Busy Cold Brew. Found this at Publix when we were on vacation and it's now like popping up everywhere. I really like it a lot. I got eight ounces in my cup over there. I don't have any more of my toasted or whatever marshmallow by community brewed up. I used the last of it yesterday, so I gotta make a pot of that, but this is my backup when I'm out. So here's our caramel apple protein French toast. Cannot wait to try it. It looks absolutely amazing. For everything you see here, I am gonna add some of the Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free syrup right there. Got my coffee. Everything is 497 calories, 49 grams of protein, 64 carbs, and 12 grams of fat. Verdict on the caramel apple strudel. It doesn't really taste caramel to me. I said that when I did the taste test, but it, it does have the apple taste in there. And that was awesome though. Like that combo was so, so good. It tasted like fall apple pie. Oh yes, this will definitely be a repeat as far as flavor profile goes. Highly recommend, try it out. But I mean, like how much apple pie do we have left? So I might like freeze that, make maybe put it in a little portion baggies and freeze that so it doesn't go bad because this ish ain't cheap. I went ahead and divided it up and I got 400 gram servings. So I've got that for the future. Only had a couple of apples left, no biggie. Rather than throwing the whole can away, definitely going to save me later. Man, that was so good, highly recommend. Coffee's made, about to blow dry my hair, but we already had breakfast. I got a look in here. I've got my pickle chicken, chicken pickle bowl all ready to go. So I'm gonna put this on the counter and let it start thawing out. That's our pizzas for pizza night tonight. OOTD is just a oversized to cropped Old Navy sweatshirt I got when we went to the beach and some Old Navy men's boxers. Love them. And can we just appreciate like these two leg days? They come in and clutch y'all. Look at these legs coming through. And we're not even in a cutting phase yet. Watch out. 
Boys just got in the shower. What is your girl doing? Getting steps in, per usual. We are right at like 2,000 and it's like 11 something. So I'm trying to get to 3,000. I have some coaching work to do. And then we can, I really don't chill guys, honestly. <laughs> Y'all have seen we've been doing all the things, even on the weekends until like after lunchtime. Then it's like chill mode, I've got steps in, I've got work done. I work seven days a week. So when you work from home, you might think, oh, it's, you know, you get to do whatever you want you do when you set your own schedule. However, I feel like I'm constantly working and sometimes you just have to like get things done, put it away, that way you can be present and in the mood with the fam. We're probably gonna have to run to the store. First world problems, supposed to be raining, all the things. Welcome to the weekend here in the Burgess household. 1.30, we've got almost 6,000 steps, doing some work. I'll talk with you guys in a minute about, not super hungry, but we need to get this protein in. So we're getting this chicken pickle bowl going. So I've got my chicken that was already frozen, weighed out and ready for the bowls. Gonna hit it with some Kinder's buttery poultry blend already. Got my line spray air fryer. So we're gonna air fry this on 350 degrees for about 10, 15 minutes until it looks like it's done. To our pickle bowl, we're doing 56 grams of pickles, any kind of pickles you want. I've got two teaspoons of this French's honey mustard in there, and then we've got 30 grams of our raised no sugar barbecue sauce. Add your chicken, stir, chicken pickle bowl. So freaking good. Day in the life vlog, but uh, you wouldn't have wanted to be having all the bleeps out a minute ago. So Waylon lost his sag. He lost a tooth last week. He lost both his two front teeth. Trey did the same thing at the exact same time. Y'all let me know in the comments down below when your kids lost their teeth, did they lose the two front ones together? Like both my kids have done that. It's crazy. So he lost one last week and he just lost the second. Well, we, we pulled it out and set it on the counter and in the midst, like five seconds, y'all know Trey and his shenanigans. He likes to throw everything in the damn trash can and he threw Waylon's tooth in the trash can and Waylon liked to have a freaking bleep fit. So I had to come over here and dig out all the freaking trash to find that little bitty freaking tooth. Yes, yes, sing. That was my life, day in the life, digging in the trash, looking for a tooth because Trey throws everything in the freaking trash can. Y'all wouldn't have wanted to see it because um, your girl was losing her mind for a second, but mom life, we found it. Chicken's in and good and hot and steaming up the camera. Let's toss it up. Late lunch, but we got a late start, so it's all good. And like I said, I'm not ravenous. On the weekends, I feel like I'm not ravenous because I'm eating my protein and I'm also like having the things here and there when I want them until I'm satisfied and not going over the rails. It's a good time on the weekends here. 239 calories for our chicken pickle bowl, 45 grams of protein, eight carbs so low carb from a low carb peeps out there too and two grams of fat getting these protein gains on we do have a snack scheduled as well we'll probably do that later probably like three or four and then tonight is pizza night and movie family movie night style so i've got even my pizza night stuff plugged in i mean who is she and then room for our little movie snacks later excited got my water got my pickle bowl got my dr pepper cream soda zero over here and then i did before lunch i made a new facebook group since our other one is outdated for sure and i want to be more active with the community with you guys I miss that. When I did that a while back and we were like doing challenges together or just doing lives like in the personal closed Facebook group, it was really something and I, I miss that and I wanna get back to that. So I created Next Level Health with Nicole Burgess. So everybody, 10 members, everybody is gonna be involved. It doesn't matter what you're putting in your mouth as long as your overall goal is to be a better version of you, then this is the group for you. So I'll have it linked down below and if you are a part of our other Facebook group, I am going to delete that one so make sure that you follow this one so you're in the new happening. So I've been working on that and then I'm also gonna be working on this food and working on coaching stuff next. I wear out my third second chance You would take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me is with you But I know I got a lot to prove They think we're too damaged to fix But we're just working through a little rust They like to say we're 
15. It's funny how I've been saying, oh, I'm not hungry. And then all of a sudden the hunger hits you and my stomach's growling. I'm like, next level hangry all of a sudden. What the hell has happened? So I've got 300 grams of the Shivani Zero Sugar Vanilla. I get the big tubs from Target now. Hallelujah. I love those things. I have like two in the fridge on backup. I eat this stuff all the time. It's a good way to get your protein in, guys. 70 calories is 13 grams of protein. So for 300 grams, that's 23 grams of protein. That is amazing. And then in it, I've got 30 grams of fresh blueberries and then 13 grams of this raisin and almond granola from Aldi. I like the granola a lot. The raisins I've mentioned in other videos, they're like kind of chewy for me like they're stale almost I don't know but the granola is fire I would definitely repurchase maybe it was just the bag that I got with the raisins in it there's not a ton of raisins in it anyways but the granola is clutch and then we've got some Redmond's Relight Pina Colada I'm gonna add to my hydro jug and fill it up probably halfway I'm almost done with my first hydro jug from today and everything that you see here our yogurt bowl is 201 calories 25 grams of protein, 24 carbs, two fat. Trying to get the protein game up because dinner's protein is only 28 grams. And the rest of our protein, we're going to assume is going to come from our movie snacks tonight. It's four o'clock and we are at 7,700 steps. So we're getting our step game on. I mean, y'all ask how we get these steps in. I literally, y'all see, y'all are getting dizzy. Are y'all getting dizzy? Walking around my island like a crazy person because it's a thousand degrees outside. I mean, when it cools off, I like to go outside. It's definitely much better to get your steps in outside in the fresh air and it doesn't take as long, I feel, because you're walking further just around your damn island. But when it's a million degrees, we up in here looking great. It's almost 4.30 and we bought this like way back when if you watch my grocery hauls. We have not made any cupcakes in weeks since I bought all this. So I thought it'd be fun for movie night to make this with some other snacks. And I'm gonna try it like a Weight Watchers style. Like Trey's excited. He saw me bust out the funfetti and icing. He's like, what are you doing girl? What's going on? But I saw somebody take instead of the eggs and the oil, they added 5.3 ounces of non-fat plain Greek yogurt and one cup of water to the Funfetti mix and they said it turned out fire. So we're gonna try that to amp a little protein in them. And then I do have the Birch Benders Vanilla Frosting, which is like sugar-free. So that's a better option as well. So, you know, making it fun, but trying to switch things up as as much as possible to, to make it as healthy as possible, but still feel fun. And I've got these tulip liners I love for the protein muffins. I get them off Amazon. I need to place an order when I get done talking to you guys. So they're on the way because I have so many muffins I want to try for fall especially. And these muffin liners are come in clutch. I absolutely love them. I do spray them with a little bit of nonstick just in case if you're doing like protein muffins all that protein stuff tends to stick a little bit anyway so that definitely helps and reheating them in the microwave helps too just a little pro tip i've learned so i'm gonna get these rolling trey's gonna help me out and then we're supposed to go to the store i think to go get some last minute pizza night stuff Bake them for 25 minutes. We're gonna let them cool. But they're like good to go. Love these liners. And I guess we're gonna go hit up our Dollar General down the street. Yes, I am wearing my house clothes to the Dollar General. I mean, they better be glad I put a bra on. I'm just saying. Getting the boys some Mike and Ikes for movie night. Why M&M's always gotta be playing me like that? The M&M's with the pretzel, that's the goats. They never have it, only at Walmart. However, I will give DG credit. They do have Reese PCs, whereas most places do not. Trey, I asked him what he wanted. If you're new, he has nonverbal autism and he picked this off the shelf. This is what you want, bud? Is that yours? Is that yours? Put it in the buggy. All right, I guess it's coming home with us. He's like, yeah, it is, mom, let's go. So my Dollar General already has 
most of their Halloween candy out. We're gonna go look and see if they have any decorations. But I saw this Werther's Original Pumpkin Spice Soft Caramels and the Maple Cream 350. They look fire. I need comments. Stop the video and comment right now. Am I a psycho because I like candy corn? Like, I could freaking kill this whole bag of candy corn. I don't know, there's just something about it. It's so freaking good. And I know most people are like barf when they hear candy corn. But man, I love this ish. This is Trey's jam right here, peeps. I'm surprised he didn't see them as we walked by and grabbed them. Childhood, like this Dollar General is like so bad, y'all. Don't come to Dollar General for health at all. Whatchamacallit, do y'all remember these? I used to love these, hence why I was 230 pounds, but man, these things are so good. Dang, put it down, girl, put it down. They have a few decorations out. I feel like this is a good price for this posable skeleton. He's like nice quality. $12 for 36 inches. I'm probably gonna beat myself up for not grabbing these. And then look at these little gnomes. I mean, how freaking cute is that? $4, shut up, Dollar General and Dollar General getting on that Target looking game. These are $10. I like this bat one that says trick or treat. That one's really cute. Mm, I might have to get that one. They also have the pumpkin one that's super cute with like the little little decorative balls on there. Mm, should I get this? Dang, it's, it's July girl, it's July. It's July, but we doing the damn thing. This is where I've been getting the Gatorade Zero packets and I add them to water bottles. They're $2 for a 10 pack way cheaper than Gatorade right now and a really good price. Try looking these up online. They're like trying to kill people. Go in for movie snacks and an extra pizza. Come out with Halloween-ish. What is my life? Back home and yes believe, we back to comfy. I'm gonna ice the cupcakes in a minute but I'm gonna go ahead and get the pizzas in the oven. It is 5.40, I'm starving. Like what are we even doing on this pizza night? What the actual hell? If you haven't noticed, Waylon, he's been with daddy. They've been out running errands so I'm trying to call them and get them home. So we can get this movie slash pizza night going. I mean, never anything goes as planned 100%. And I'm a planner. When things don't go my way 100%, I start getting flustered. You like that out there? I know I'm like that out there. I need, I need to work on myself. I need to work on my inner self. So we've got the California Pizza Kitchen barbecue chicken, crispy thin crust pizza. I've been wanting to try this one for a while. Now, it's not a huge pizza, and I feel like the hubby's not going to get any of this. Sorry, hubs, because my portion's going to be bigger than what it says. But it's $2.90 for one-third of the pizza and 16 grams of fat. I think I have, or 16 grams of protein. I think I have just a little bit on, a little bit more, but it feels super light. And I'm probably going to be disappointed with that. And then we always get this one for the boys, and I got a, just a regular cheese pizza at the DG because Waylon invited Momo over for movie night, so she's going to come over and eat some pizza too so he likes cheese so i figured she can have some of the pepperoni so i'm gonna get these in the oven get this party started they don't look pretty because that birch bender's icing is like horrible as far as spreading goes oh my gosh the worst however trey i gave him the knife and he like licked it down so it must taste good that's all that matters right and then i put some lily's milk chocolate chips on top to try to make them a little bit prettier but it's how they taste. And let me tell you, these Funfetti like, cupcakes, the way we made them, they are so soft and moist. I can't wait to see what the boys think about the actual cupcakes. So here's the barbecue chicken. California Kitchen pizza came out. It looks delicious. And like, look at that red onion. Mm. It could definitely have some more chicken. I would probably, if I was not eating like anything for movie night, I would add some chicken to it on a regular to amp up the protein game. It needs a little bit more, but other than that, it looks fire. So let's measure it up and see what my portion actually looks like in real life. So I am pleasantly surprised with this portion and these macros. Oh my gosh, cannot wait to taste it and let you guys know what I think. So I've got three ounces of carrot chips. I'm so excited to try this on the border Southwest bean dip. Says it's new, but I'm pretty sure it's been around before, but I did three tablespoons. It's only 30 calories for two tablespoons and two grams of protein. Let's go. There's my serving of my pizza. So I entered everything into my first form app and that is exactly 187 grams of pizza weighed up, which is 390 calories for the pizza, 21 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat. Oh my gosh, if this tastes good, this might be the new pizza in the grocery store, y'all. So everything that you see here, can you believe our pizza night with chips and dip? 465 calories, 25 grams of protein, all of our protein coming from the pizza, a little bit from the bean dip, 59 carbs and 15 grams of fat. Mm, pizza night, let's get it. Damn, this may be too good to be true. I think they lie into us, California Pizza Kitchen. Oh my gosh, it tastes like... 
pretty legit. Like if it had a little bit more cheese, it would taste like a pizza you would be getting mm. at a pizza place. Like we order the barbecue chicken pizzas all the time and it tastes pretty damn close, I have to say. Wow, super impressed. And guys, I am shook at this pizza. Just know that like here is the pizza. This is what's left for the hubs. Like I showed you my portion. This is what's left of the pizza. So it is small but it is freaking tasty. And yeah, it was a little bit pricier for a pizza, but for the macros and for it to be like good ingredients and be on point, man, you're gonna be seeing this often. And here's the boys pizzas over here. I gotta come up and letting them cool. They got a ratchet cheese and then the pepperoni. And this dip was good. It was spicy. It was way spicier than I thought it would be. And y'all know I like spicy. It says serve hot or cold. I might have to try it hot next time. That might be fire, but it was definitely really, really tasty. And I did enjoy it. Got these movie trays off of Amazon. They fold up and then all you have to do is put them together with some tape. You've got a spot for your drink. You should have a spot for your candy, but this candy's too big. And then your popcorn. So super cute. I think it was like a 50 pack and I will have them linked down below. But really cute to have the kids have these on their lap in the living room when we have our movie night. So Waylon decided he did not want a cupcake. So we did some of the 100 calorie a little microwavable microwave bags y'all see me eat all the time i split it up between the two boys and i put some cups in here and i've got some mike and ike's in there for waylon and then y'all saw trey picked out the rollo so we'll put those in there for them to take to the couch for the movie what is mama going in with movie night snacks of course american dream nut butter i do have some caramel m ms left from the beach trip since we couldn't find our beloved um, pretzel ones so i might go in with those and we've still been hoarding a little bit of the cadbury mini chocolate hard shell eggs mm, from easter <laughs> we've been hoarding those for sure but tonight we've got mason's caramel hot fudge sunday i haven't opened that one so i'll show it to you and a twix to treat y'all sleep on this one but it is so good that's from the halloween collection glad they still have it cookie butter crush i have open and that's a staple and then of course the retired shamrock and mason's caramel hot fudge sunday i mean can you even and then twix to treat y'all i'm telling you don't sleep on it still available direct link down below or in burgess will get you a discount if you just shop through their site these two mm, so freaking good So we finished the movie. We watched Little Giants. Okay, showing my age, but Devon Sawa, oh my god. Back in the day, that movie was 1994, so that just goes to show you. But back in the day, Devon Sawa in Little Giants, he was also in what Casper and Final Destination. Freaking hot okay let's just say it was definitely a girl's crush back in fourth and fifth grade but so brought back fond memories and it's a cute football movie too so that was our movie tonight we indulged in the nut butters i did have some extra toasted cheese it's afterwards i've been liking like the salty with the sweet it's been my jam and I've been loving it until August 22nd, guys, when we do our 30 day challenge. I'm gonna be super strict for 30 days, but right now I'm staying on track 90% of the time and then the other 10% is to just enjoy but not go crazy because we know we can do it on Fridays and Saturdays. So we just finished clean, cleansing our face. I'm gonna show you my evening routine with Beauty Counter and I used the cleansing oil by Counter Time. And my evening routine is so simple. So cleansing your face, that's it. And then I'm gonna go in with the Counter Time Serum Radiance right here and all you need is one pump. And like I mentioned earlier, I love these products because they last so long like you don't need to use a ton of product for the price it is just unbeatable and it's clean ingredients and this stuff has been working for your girl so i want to share anything that i love with you guys food non-food y'all like certain pieces of clothing and stuff y'all always want me to put the link of stuff so that's why we're talking about it and that's why we're sharing it the angle and the lighting is not great for what we're doing right now 
but that's okay. I just wanted to show it to you guys. And then we're going to let that sit for just a second. And then one thing, two things, I love all of them, but their moisturizers are so moisturizing, especially for aging skin. Oh my gosh, so, so good. Or if you just have dry skin in general, it doesn't matter your age. So I'm going in with the Supreme Cream and I'm just gonna dab a little on my forehead, a little on my nose, and then some on my cheeks, chin, and neck. And I probably don't even need that much, but just wanna show you guys, cause it's so creamy and moisturizing and it just leaves your skin feeling so moisturized and dewy while you're sleeping. Love it so much. So you don't need a ton, so I got that on there. And then I am gonna do the eye cream like I did this morning as well. So I'm gonna go in with the eye rescue cream, just a little, not even a whole pump, and go on the under eye and right on top of the lid. And there is my nighttime routine, guys, done. But the thing is, is I wasn't doing any of this, none of this, just washing my face, and that's it, and my skin was all dry and looking ratchet, so it has just helped me the past couple of months have some really moisturized, radiant looking, making my skin look younger. I swear this stuff's supposed to help with like fine lines and wrinkles. I really feel like it's definitely helped in this area where I'm starting to see that as I am aging. So loving the products and wanted to share. So that is it, we are done. Hair is clean, we took a shower earlier, probably gonna put a little cameo on. It is now 11 o'clock, I am next level exhausted. I'm telling you guys, my freaking shadow. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go. Huh, mister? All right, macros for today. Macros for today with the little piglet next to us. We did 1,400 calories basically before we got into the nut butters and the Cheez-Its. 143 grams of protein, 155 carbs, now he's going crazy, and 30 grams of fat. We have hit and surpassed our 10,000 step goal. We're over 11,000 steps. And we got a crazy uh, Frenchie on our hands at 11 o'clock at night. Pray for your girl. Good night, fam. Good morning. OTD, we've got some of the Colsey. These are the shorts that I love from Target. I have them in every color, size medium, absolutely love them. Also a Target Rolling Stones tee. We are getting like dressed up. I put some mascara on, some chapstick, my morning routine, and some comfy clothes. We are going to Academy to go and get Trey a new pair of Crocs. If you are new, he has nonverbal autism and the only shoes the boy will wear is Crocs. We found that out from his teacher a couple years ago because he was taking his shoes off and it was a hot mess express and his teacher was a lifesaver and Crocs is the lifesaver and he needs a new pair. The boy's size shoe is ridiculous. Men's size nine, nine, he's nine years old. Men's size nine is what he's wearing. Um, I think we need to go up. I have Amazon boys, Amazon kids, for show. Sure. And again, let's just, let's just appreciate these leg gains. Two leg days a week, paying off big time, dang. Ordered Trey some Crocs off of Amazon because, huh, size nine. They don't have a size and they were way cheaper, like Academy on crack. Really do. So a lot of you guys ask about the Marcy machine all the time that I have. I got it from Facebook Marketplace and they do have them on Amazon, but they have them on sale for $3.99 at Academy. This is almost exactly like the one that I have at home. 
like identical it's just a different model but they just changed the model name so $3.99 if you were looking for one it's on sale from $5.99 we did find a pair for Waylon with the cool camo on there some Adidas I have to say the selection on boys youth because Waylon has a big foot too this is a three and a half in youth boys and he's six yes yes you heard me right with these sizes people <laughs> um, the selection here sucks it's one one little aisle that's it like what happened what happened to the selection and the variety people i need this shirt in my size first name always last name hungry i'm gonna get that for trey super cute i also need this one in my size see you on the next level like yes waylon said he wants this one sonic stop so i always get a route 44 coke zero at diet cherry it's 30 calories and four carbs and if you have the Sonic app, you get half price drinks all day long. Two o'clock, we are just now home from going into town. We don't live close to town, so it takes long driving anyways. And then we were just like joy riding around today. So it's a Sunday, that's what we do. So I'm slacking on the calories, number one, protein. I'm struggling and now I'm freaking out on how to get the protein in throughout the day. I'm switching things up for sure. So this was not my lunch I plugged in. I plugged in something different, but this is what we're going with, so I don't have to cook anything. So got two of the Fit and Active 40 calorie a slice pieces of bread from Aldi. It's the same as the Nature's own one that we like to get and like way cheaper. I love that so much. I've got some of the Aldi oven roasted turkey breast and two slices of the Black Label fully cooked original bacon. And then we've got a pickle I halved and then also I think um, two teaspoons of the French's honey mustard on top. And then we have a serving of the carrot chips and then three tablespoons of this Aldi hummus roasted red pepper. Love this stuff. It is so fire. Definitely going to get some and try some of the, they have like a million hummuses. I'm going to try them a lot. I am like a big fan of hummus and incorporating it back because I love it so much. And why not? Because it's good for you anyways. So everything you see here, not including the, um, cherry, coke zero thing i have that plugged in but not with these macros is 422 calories 33 grams of protein 49 carbs and 15 grams of fat i'm going to eat this and then figure out what the heck we're going to do the rest of the night as far as protein and cows that was bomb and i went ahead and got in my first form app and plugged in new stuff for dinner and for dessert we're skipping snacks since it is 2 30 and we just got done eating lunch so we're gonna have a more calorie dense bigger dinner and get our protein in and get as close to the cows as possible but it just seems like a lot too late in the day i'm gonna work on some steps we're at not even five and it's 2 30 so we gotta get stepping four o'clock we are getting some meal prep together so y'all ask all the time about meal prep i just keep it super simple these days don't even do a lot of meal prep but we are meal prepping a little bit today for the week. So I went ahead and thawed out my strawberry pepperidge farm bread for breakfast. So hard with the meal prep there. And then I've got some mahi mahi weighed out. There's a method to my madness here because they're all different portions. And I'm trying to make sure I got the right weights for the right days. I've got the Blackstone going. Y'all also asked, I haven't been using the Blackstone. I do. I just don't show every little thing here on my life on YouTube. But I am using the Blackstone. I still love it just as I did when I first got it. Buttery Steakhouse by Kinder's is all I'm putting on the Mahi Mahi. And then we're going to be assembling some bowls that I made a few weeks ago. I want to have them again because they're so freaking good. But this meal prep is so easy, especially if you have a flat top. While the Blackstone's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and put my Jasmine ready rice in the microwave. Don't get triggered and have that ready to go. I don't think I'm going to have enough of that rice. That's the only pack I have left. But I got a bunch of these Thrive Market Jasmine rice packets. The macros on these are better ingredients, obviously better than the ready rice as well. Well, so this one's just 220 for a cup. I think the other one's like almost 290 for the ready rice by Ben. So definitely check this one out. I always have a link for Thrive Market down below that gets you like I think 30% off your first order and always a free gift. I mean it's insane, but they have some really great finds over there. The veggies in the bowl is gonna be either some bowls are gonna have some steamed broccoli. This is just the Aldi one, so I'm gonna pop that in the microwave, super easy. And then I'm gonna saute this up with some nonstick and some probably of the kinders as well. This market size super blend, I love this stuff and I can never find it, it's always sold out. It's Brussels sprouts, cabbage, broccoli, carrots, kale, it's so good. And for a cup, is just 25 calories, nuts. I gotta change the macros in my first form because I think they have a little bit different. Macros are even better, let's go. Meal prep going down. 
so I've cut, I wanted to do six ounces for each bowl, so each of those is six, hence my little madness method over there. That's my lightest portion I'll have to plug into my calculator, and then there's another portion I wrote down that's not what I have plugged in. I mean, tracking macros, I mean, it can get crazy sometimes, but don't make it complicated, <laughs> but that's my, my method right now, so hopefully I can keep track of the weight. Look at that char. Nothing like a blackstone, I'm telling you. I need to use them more often, I really do, but we do use it. Bowls are done. So I've got my strawberry pepperidge farm bread thawed out. I mean, such hard meal prep, right? That is for easy omelets in the morning. Don't overcomplicate things, guys. And then we've got our bowls with our mahi-mahi. Some have the power blend, broccoli, and then we weighed out the rice. It took a few seconds because I had different weights than I had originally plugged in, but not a big deal, especially if you pre-track. And imagine trying to do this the day of. Like, this is gonna just pop in the microwave, add your toppings, avocado, egg, and stir-fry sauce by G. Hughes is what I'm adding, and you're good to go. Like, if I had to cook this after working out and coming home and all that, no bueno, no bueno at all, and it ain't happening. You make other choices, right? So that's why we set ourselves up for success with doing certain meal preps or having certain things available on hand that way we don't reach for other things and you shouldn't have all the other things in your house anyway we want the fun foods but not the things that we know we shouldn't be eating on a daily basis and visibly in our fridge and pantry you know what i mean so we are set for success and this, these bowls are so good like mahi mahi veggies rice with avocado eggs and that stir fry sauce from g hughes is slamming it is so good you definitely need to give it a try if you're wondering how i'm going to differentiate the bowls with the different weights with all the things I take some tape and I put it on my lids and with a Sharpie I put the days that I know that I have the exact stuff in here plugged into my first form app so that there is no confusion and you're getting the right amount of macronutrients each and every day. A little easy hack there. 5.30 and I just came up with this on a whim. So I was going to put the hash browns on my mini dash anyway, but I forgot I had this waffle bowl maker by dash and I said, let's make a breakfast bowl. Like how delicious does that sound? So I've had it going for a while. As you can see, it is ready to go. I'm gonna put it in my bowl. I've got some avocado. I browned up some turkey sausage. I've got some leftover white gravy mix from the biscuits and gravy casserole we made the other night. I'm gonna top it with that and then I've got a buttload of egg whites I'm gonna put in there for my bowl I don't think I'm topping it with anything else I think that's it oh no I lie we gotta have a little cheese in our life are y'all seeing this like if it's as good as it looks we are in for a treat and yes I had to get a different bowl because I always underestimate like these massive portions this thing weighs like 500 pounds this is 581 calories 59 grams of protein 44 carbs and 20 grams of fat. I'll update how the like bowl waffle thing worked out. Verdict on the hash browns, the whole bowl was awesome. Like the flavor profile with the gravy, the avocado, the cheese, mm, perfection. The bowl could have been crispier and it gets crispy when you put on the little dash, not so much on these bowls, but you could, what I would do next time is do the shape on here and y'all saw it was holding up really well. Do the bowl in here and then pop it in the air fryer and let it get super crispy and then put it in there. Mmm, yeah. 6.30 and I have not done my electrolytes yet so I wanna make sure I get them in even though it's later in the day. I drank all my hydro jug. I drank my Route 44 diet cherry coke zero thing from sonics we've gotten plenty of liquid in but i like to get my electrolytes in each and every day also went ahead and took my creatine earlier too y'all ask all the time i take creatine on my rest days as well every single day if you forget it one or two days you know if you are on vacation or something it's no big deal but you want to try to take it each and every day whether you're working out or resting and i'm doing the watermelon lime again today i think i did that yesterday with you guys and i just fill it up i do a little bit of blending with my little coffee stick thing and then fill it up with ice and water to the brim you can do much larger and it's going to be diluted a little bit but i like the strong like salty flavorful taste of this stuff and burgess gets you a discount i'm about to re-up on my watermelon lime and pina colada game and salt game again i feel like i just bought it but again we use this stuff every day and absolutely love it Eight thirty dessert we still got a little bit more steps to do but we got a yogurt bowl to get the protein in so we've got a little over 300 grams of the chobani zero sugar vanilla in there 15 grams of the aldi protein granola some strawberries some blueberries and i am going to eat one of these caramel rice crisps they're 100 calories a pack 
for a total of 329 calories, 30 grams of protein, 52 carbs, and two grams of fat. In 17, we have hit our 10,000 steps. I just got done washing my face with the cleansing oil, and then I added this tonight. I usually do this in the morning, but I'm gonna start adding it at night too. So the Mineral Boost Essence I added first after cleansing my face, tapped that in, and then added the Radiant Serum. I love this stuff. I just bought another one because I'm almost out. It's so good. And the Supreme Cream is amazing for moisturizing at night. So that's the last step. And then I put the Counter Match Eye Rescue Cream. They also have another one, I think, in the pink collection that does a little bit more than this one if you're looking for something that definitely helps with like fine lines and wrinkles. I think this one does that, but it's like a little bit more extreme is what I'm trying to say as far as their best under eye cream. They have one even further than the one that I'm using, the Eye Rescue Cream by Countermatch. So this is my nighttime regimen. Took of all five minutes, ready to hit the bed. Today's macros were 1882 on the calories, so we got it in. I was afraid we were going to be like super low, but we changed things around and we made it work. So you, even if you plug things in, like I talk about all the time, I plug things in weeks ahead, you can always change it. It's not set in stone. 173 grams of protein, always our number one priority, 214 carbs and 50 grams of fat. Today was a great day of eating, even though we were like doing all the things. I felt great today. I hope you enjoyed the spin the weekend with me. Something new, something different. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out so much and lets me know that you did enjoy it. And if you were new, I'd love to have you a part of the family, of course. So make sure to hit all the bells and whistles before you leave. I'll definitely be doing another one of these. I enjoyed filming it as well. It's different for me as on my end, and I really liked doing it this weekend. So again, feedback in the comments is always appreciated. Love you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.